The question is, how much should you charge a charity for your photography work? Welcome to the Pricing for Photography channel where my mission is to make you a profitable pro and in turn, creating a much healthier photography industry. Welcome pros, it's great to have you here. You know, this is a very common question because we're asked all the time to photograph for charities or for free. So how do we approach photographing for charities? Now, first, if it's a charity that you really believe in, there is nothing wrong with giving a huge discount or even photographing for free for a charity that you believe in, one that you went to and said, hey, I wanna help you out, or I believe in your cause. Maybe it's not an organized charity, but it's a movement and you wanna be a part of it and capture images as part of that movement. Maybe as a documentary photographer, maybe the images will be worth something down the road. Maybe they can become a book later on. There are a number of ways you can approach photographing, but most of the time when charities are asking us to photograph, they're definitely looking for a discount. Look, charities are strapped. That's the bottom line. They often don't have a lot of money, but they need your images for promotion in most cases. So if they need your images for promotion and you can do a great job, which will help them in the long run, maybe get more press, or with the use of your images, earn more donations, the fact is your photographs still have value. So what do you do? Well, I look at it this way. What would I normally charge a client? And from there, I'll think about what kind of a discount do I wanna give the charity? So don't think from the bottom up, think from the top down. If you would normally charge $2,000, for what the charity is asking you to do, then think about, okay, now what kind of a discount do I give them? So I highly recommend you send an invoice with maybe a 25% discount or a 50% discount, maybe a 75% discount that might be more realistic, or in some cases, 100% discount. But the key here is you wanna show your full value. So you're not known as the cheap charity photographer. You want people to know that you have value, that you can stand there and photograph and have your chin up high as a high value photographer who's helping out a charity, a charity that you believe in, or a charity that does have a budget, can't afford some photography, but you're willing to give a discount because you believe in working with charities because it helps our society as a whole. Now, if you're already stuck in that rut and known as the inexpensive, free, or cheap charity photographer, immediately start giving them invoices, even if you haven't done it in the past. It will shift the perception of who you are once they see your full value. Chances are they haven't seen your full value. They just know you as the guy with the camera or lady with the camera who's going around taking some snaps and handing over some really nice images that they can use to earn more money or get more promotion. If nobody has shown them the value of your time or images, why would they think any differently. So when it comes to charities, quite often we photograph hourly because most of the time it's an event. They need you for a specific period of time. And that's fine. Now, if it's a series of portraits or final images maybe used in advertising campaigns, I might charge per image in that situation. And it's really not that hard to figure out how much to charge because you're going to start off with your traditional fees and add a discount. Now, how much of a discount? Well, you can work with the charity, ask them, show them what your traditional fees are and ask them how much of a discount might they need. This will give you a clue as to what their budget is. And that is a great way to qualify if you wanna work for that charity or not. So how do you approach working with charities? I look forward to reading your answers in the comments below. And if you found this video valuable, make sure you like it and share it with your friends. And of course, if you don't wanna miss a future upload, be sure to subscribe, and of course, if you don't want to miss me live, hit that bell icon and you'll be notified.